This one's taking a look at solving the following question. Suppose somebody has a, to build a rectangular enclosure on a piece of triangular land. Find the dimensions of the rectangular pen that maximize the area enclosed. So here is your land. What you want to do is somewhere in here put a rectangular enclosure. So maybe the rectangular enclosure will look like this right here. See this? And notice there's a 9 foot wall down below. There's a river 12 feet this way. And there's a forest that runs along uh, for 15 feet this way. And somewhere within here, you want to put in an enclosure that's as big as possible in terms of its area. So we have to start measuring things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin measuring right here at this point, And this, therefore, is going to be x. So this x represents the following dimension, to be very clear. It's going to measure the distance from here over to here. That's your x. Now, since the whole thing is 9 feet, then that means that this side right here for the rectangle would be 9 minus x. So 9 minus x is the length. Now look at the vertical dimension there. Since the whole river is 12 feet, then you can describe this vertical side of the right side of the rectangle there as basically 12 minus y, where y tells you the height of the rectangle, you see? So that's a piece of information. So by using that, what you can do is build the following. That area of the rectangle would be 9 minus x, this quantity here, and then you would multiply that by 12 minus y. Now this has two variables, x and y. I need to get rid of y as my variable here. So how can I do that? Within this picture, I have to be able to find some uh, triangles. So since over here, 12 minus y is the vertical side, then that means this right here in this position, this is also 12 minus y. So then you have triangles, take a look. Let me focus on this for a second. The horizontal side is x, and then this side here is 12 minus y, and then this is this way. See that? So that is a red triangle. So then what you can say is the following. Build a proportion that says 12 minus y is 2x, this way, as, so I'm taking the vertical side of the red triangle dividing by the horizontal side. Then I can repeat that for the much bigger triangle, the blue overall triangle. So that would be 12 from the river divided by 9 from the wall. Now the triangle is not to scale, keep that in mind, it's just a picture. So over here what I'm going to say is going to be 12 over 9 for that reason. Now I just have to transform this, so it's going to look like 12 minus y is equal to the following. So 12 over 9. Now I have to simplify this 12 over 9. Remember that 12 is the same as 3 times 4, correct? And then 9 is the same as 3 times 3. So as you can see, what I can do is I can cancel this 3 away with the 3 on the top. That gives a 1. So they go away, which means you have only a 4 here and only a 3 here. And then you're going to multiply this by x. So it becomes 12 minus y is equal to 4 thirds x. Then what you can do is subtract 12 from both sides, for example. It's going to give you, therefore, negative y is equal to 4 thirds. And then here, x minus 12, continue. Then you can divide through by negative 1 to get rid of the negative on the y. It's going to, therefore, tell you that y is equal to the following negative 4 thirds x plus 12. So now we have an expression for y in terms of x. Go back and we make the area. So area would be equal to the following now. 9 minus x, and then within brackets, because it's going to be a pretty big calculation, it's going to be 12 minus, and then you have to replace y. Well, y is equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 12. So stick that in here like this. Negative 4 thirds x plus 12. You have to simplify this a little bit. So a would be equal to 9, 9 minus x. And then work within the brackets. So there's a negative in front of the parentheses within the brackets right here. So you have to distribute that to each term, changing all the signs inside. So it's going to be basically 12 plus 4 thirds x minus 12. Continuing, a would be equal to 9 minus x. And then here, what happens with the 12s? Well, Right, this one is positive and then this one is negative. So that means what you can do is just cancel off the twelves, leaving on the bottom there four thirds x this way only. Lastly, because it makes uh, derivatives simpler, just distribute that four thirds x to each term. So it's going to be like this: nine times four thirds x minus four thirds, and then x times x is x squared. Just simplify this a little bit more. So now you see over here you have a 9 and a 3 on the bottom. So you have 9 times 4 thirds. That's going to be give you a 12. The way to see that is take the 9 there and just write it as 3 times 3. You see that? And then what you do is you just cross off this 3 with this 3 right here. 
and it just leaves the 3 times the 4 to give you a 12 in this position. And then you end up over here with negative 4 thirds x squared. Also, don't forget to add the x over here with the 12. And then differentiate this. So a prime would be equal to the following 12 minus. Now, when you differentiate the x squared, you're going to bring the 2 down and multiply by the 4. Therefore, it's going to give you here basically 8 thirds x. As usual, you set this equal to 0. So set it equal to 0. Then you have to solve this for x. So what that means in practice is the following x is equal to, you subtract 12 and you divide by negative 8 thirds. In other words, you have negative 12 divided by negative 8 thirds this way. However, you choose to do that using keep change flip, the usual, you're going to end up with the following value at the very end, 9 over 2. And this is in feet. So this tells you the value of x. Back in the picture, x therefore is equal to basically 4.5 feet. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So this is your x, which means that 9 minus x would be the dimension across the bottom there. That would be 9 minus 4.5, which would also be 4.5 feet. So the enclosure has, I guess, a base there of 4.5 feet. Now you also have to find the height of the enclosure. So remember, this is equal to 12y, which means you got to find y first. So we're going to proceed as follows. Remember, y was equal to negative 4 thirds times x. Now, x is known to be 9 halves, so times 9 over 2, and then you're going to add to it 12. Simplify this. Well, you have negative 4 divided by 2. That's going to give you negative 2. You have 9 divided by 3. That's going to give you positive 3 plus the 12. So it's going to give you now negative 6 plus 12, which is then positive 6 feet this way. So you know the value of y right here, which means that the vertical dimension here would be 12 minus 6, which is equal to 6, and then feet this way. So what this calculation is telling you, in other words, is the following as a wrap-up and everything. So the enclosure should be 4.5 feet by 6 feet to maximize its area. And this is the whole problem. Please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.